Understanding the phrase, obscured by, a simple guide. Hello, everyone, welcome to today's English language learning video. We're going to explore a fascinating phrase used in English, obscured by. This phrase is common in both spoken and written English, and understanding it can really help in grasping the nuances of the language. So, let's dive in and demystify this phrase together. Obscured by is a phrase that combines the verb obscure, which means to hide or make unclear, with the preposition by. It is used to describe a situation where something is hidden, covered, or made less visible or understandable because of something else. This phrase can be used in both a literal, physical sense and a more abstract, metaphorical sense. Examples in sentences 1. Literal use the view of the mountain was obscured by fog. 2. Metaphorical use. The true intention of the speech was obscured by complex language. Understanding when and how to use obscured by is crucial for effective communication. It's often used to describe situations where clarity is lost or something is hidden from sight or understanding. In different contexts, 1 nature and environment the stars were obscured by clouds 2 communication and understanding her message was obscured by her indirect way of speaking 3 art and literature the symbolism in the painting is obscured by its abstract style when using obscured by be cautious not to confuse it with phrases that have similar but distinct meanings like covered by, or overwhelmed by. While they might seem similar, they convey different degrees and types of concealment or overshadowing. Examples of incorrect usage. 1. Incorrect. His abilities were obscured by his qualifications. Better. Overshadowed. 2. Incorrect. The floor was obscured by a carpet. Better. Covered. I hope this video has helped clarify the meaning and usage of obscured by. Remember, it's a versatile phrase that adds depth to your expression, whether you're describing a physical scenario or an abstract concept. Keep practicing, and don't be afraid to use it in your conversations and writings. Until next time, happy learning!